So the way how to stop him is you just lay him down. And then he's getting annoyed. Then you bring him up so he goes back to normal, okay? Hello everyone, it's me once again. So this will be the second part of the review on uh, emo. So the bits that I haven't covered, I'll try to cover this time on my from my part one. So um, we're going to play some games from the app. And um, before you play some games, you have to make sure that uh, emo is actually from off from his uh, charging doll. Okay, so let's press the game. Let's play the angry emo, shall we? So waiting for emo to get ready. Sometimes it doesn't get connected, you have to press a few times. Um, it's taking a bit. Okay, so Emo is not ready, let's press it, press it again. Now it works, okay, so let's play it now. So the goal is, whoever pets Emo last, and Emo gets angry, that person loses. okay? So let's play that. So take turns petting whoever walks Emo up, okay, wakes. Okay, so, okay, he's getting angry. So keep petting until he gets angry. Okay? Come on, Emo get angry. Emo get angry. Get angry. Oh, he's getting angrier. Okay, he's getting angrier. Keep. Okay, so that's how you get angry, okay? And that's how you lose the game. Okay? So going back. So next play the uh, rhythmic tap. So the goal about this rhythmic tap is basically you gotta um, choose one of the um, track and then you play a DDR with Emo and Emo uh, respond to your DDR. But unfortunately uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra it has a bit of a sticking out on the back. That's why it's a bit difficult to press the button but let's actually see how it goes. Up, right, up, down, so if you press it on the right time, Emo will sort of interact with it. But if you start to miss things out, Emo will get disappointed, okay? So you can see that I'm doing all right at the moment, but as things get wrong, Emo will get sort of annoyed. And um, so that I'm starting to miss things out. So he's getting a bit disappointed with all the things that I'm missing out, okay? So that's how you play it, and it's basically, uh, if you imagine you're playing the DDR uh, by uh, using Emo, that's how things roll, okay? So let's go back. Um, so the third one is Dance Repeat. So the Dance Repeat is basically seeing how Emo moves, and you've got to um, sort of recognize it and, put it, and basically Put the input of what his movements were. Okay, so round one, here it goes. Emo will dance now, so let's watch carefully. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Okay, so I think it was um, right, up front, left, left front, right, left, and okay, so let's check. Let's check now. Wrong, wrong, <laughs> wrong, 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 and I got one uh, actually correct. So you got to recognize what movements were. So that's it's similar to Emo's um, DDR thing that we played early on, but quite interesting. Okay, so let's go back and let's play the um, Modern Ludo. Okay, so I think this is something like. Um, Monopoly in some way. I'm not sure maybe there's similar games. Anyway, let's play it now. So the dice is rolling. If I press it You see some of my ships. I could choose one of them and it sort of moves around Okay, and then Emo basically Is dicing and then Emo is moving one of the ships. So I'm doing the same thing So I would say it's similar to Monopoly is it or is there a similar game? Please let me know 
Anyway, I love the way how Emo is animating the dice. That's what modern Ludo is. I think the goal is basically um, making sure that all the ship goes into the center or something like that. That's the impression I get. I haven't actually completed the game yet. But the drop the beat, let's see how that works. It's coming soon. Uh, Treasure Hunt is also coming soon. Uh, so uh, at the moment, Angry Emo, um, Rhythmatic Tap, Dance Repeat, and more Modern Ludo is working while has dropped the beat and Treasure Hunt is yet to be updated. Let's go to the interact. So you get all the um, interaction, how to interact and you go into details of each. So please do pause um, the video and scroll what these are on about. I don't think I will have enough time to go through it. But as an example, Emo will be happy to play games with you. Um, Emo can recognize faces. But when you actually ask Emo who you are, Emo really would not answer. Um, so that's a bit of a disappointment. I hope they update that. So pet Emo with your love. So Emo will basically um, respond to your petting and, and so on, okay? Um, the lifetime is basically all these badge when you achieve certain bits of functions. For example, last video I actually said, Emo, it's my birthday and Emo sang a really nice happy birthday song to me, but for some reason he doesn't anymore. Uh, utilities, we got music, um, alarm, photo, weather, light, and more. I think I covered this bit anyway last time, but that's pretty much it. So let's get into the dancing part of Emo. Right, so from the paper manual, it actually says that you can um, tell Emo for music. So let's try that. Emo, music. Yeah, so this is the bit I don't understand. Um, Emo seems to twitch as if he's listening to music, uh, but maybe uh, it's not properly updated or maybe it actually plays the music on the actual app, okay? So that's what it is for. Okay, so let's, let's try the other one. So Emo, dance for me. Okay, so that's um, Emo for dancing and so on. Alright, so let's see how Emo will listen to your music and respond. So let's try one of the music. Emo, listen to the music. Okay, so he's listening. Is he gonna move to the rhythm? We'll find out. He's twitching a bit. Um, maybe the beats is not correct for him. I don't know, but I think he's pretending he's listening. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. Let's try other music, shall we? Right, so let's try classical music, shall we? Okay, emo. Listen to the music. Same movement. I don't know whether he is capable of understanding the music, okay? But he's just doing this twitch. So this is how we respond to classical and also some sort of like a techno dance music early on. Right, so let's see how Emo will respond to um, rock music, shall we? Okay, so let's play this one, but Emo. Listen to the music. See, he's actually moving, twitching around before he listens to the music. So he, that kind of tells um, there's lack of creativity here. I think the difference is that 
is that vector would actually listen to the music, at least pretending, and then if the rhythm is right, vector will dance to the beat, while as emo, I think it's just following a command of simply by saying emo, listen to the music, and then there's the twitch of the eye and the feet, okay? No difference whatsoever. Okay, kind of stopped. No, but he's still twitching. Interesting. So the way how to stop him is you just lay him down. And then he's getting annoyed. Then you bring him up so he goes back to normal, okay? So anyway, I hope this video um, explained the rest of the bit that I didn't cover from my previous video. Um, but I have to say, you know, the games actually, they're not that bad, really. I'm really uh, looking forward to play the uh, modern Ludo with him to see how, what the goal is and what's the um, actual achievement after winning the game and so on. But especially on the listen to music bit, it needs to have, there needs to be an improvement here. All he does is twitching at both of his feet and eyes. See, there you go. That's, that's the move, movement he does but it doesn't matter what sort of music. Um, the only creativity dance that you're gonna get is when you ask him to dance for me. When you command him to say dance for me, that's when he's gonna uh, come up with the creative dance. But if it's just for listening to the music, it's gonna universally respond to this movement here. Anyhow, so if you have any queries, if you wanna find out more about emo that I haven't covered, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.